What's going on everybody? Welcome to Nerdgasm. Today we're going to be talking about that Spider-Man gameplay from E3 because it was amazing and it made me happy and it was great. And I mean, look at this guy. It's freaking clean as fuck. I mean, this is crazy. When have we ever had a Spider-Man game this good? Never. We've never had a Spider-Man game this good. And if you tell me we have, you're a liar. Don't get me wrong. I've had Spider-Man games that I've liked. I enjoyed Shattered Dimensions, okay? I enjoyed Spider-Man Web of Shadows, all right? I enjoyed that other Spider-Man game that I can't remember the name of where you were like four different Spider-Mans. It was great. I loved it. It was cool. It was awesome. But no, just, I'm not even talking about, oh, because it's 2017. This is amazing, even for here. And I love that a game that is doing a superhero is finally taking advice from Batman Arkham series. This had to happen. I don't understand why they can't just go, oh, this is a really good series. Maybe we should do something similar to this. And oh my God, it gave birth to a Spider-Man game that I'm finally going to be able to tell my children I may love at times more than them. Who knows? I don't have any children. I'm just saying in the future, like I don't have any children right now. But later, I'd, I'd fucking tell them. I'd be like, man, you're not Spider-Man. You don't know. But seriously, even with the cutscenes in this game, I love games where you have to wonder, wait, hold on, when did I go from cutscene to gameplay? Because that's freaking crazy. Those kind of games get me. They they pull on my heartstrings. And guys, it's Spider-Man. It's Spider-Man. He is my number one favorite hero across the Marvel DC board. For those of you that don't know, Spider-Man in this game is being voiced by Ben 10. If you guys watched Ben 10, Alien Force, Omniverse, blah, blah, blah. I watched him. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them, so don't. Don't think I'm saying there's anything wrong with Ben 10. I love Ben 10. If you are a fan of Ben 10, then this is going to feel really good because the voice actually does fit Peter Parker. The voice really fits him. What I also love is that this game isn't just doing Spider-Man stuff like, oh, he's swinging and he's doing flips. No, it actually feels like you would play Spider-Man. The gameplay does look a little bit slow, so maybe it's because it's not the final build, so it's a little bit slower than it should be. But other than the speed for some of these fights, I felt Spider-Man-y the entire time. The stealthy parts, the parts where he's hanging people up on the bars, the parts where he's jumping over people, he's flipping around them, he's spinning, he's swinging through the buildings. This felt 100% Spider-Man-y. But look, I'm not just here to tell you guys about the gameplay. I mean, you can watch the trailer 10 times, 20 times, 30 times like I did. I did watch it 17 times. Don't judge me. Who are you? I wanted to tell you that the villain that we see in this gameplay video is called Mr. Negative. Now, Mr. Negative is a villain from the Marvel Universe who has been around for... Not the longest amount of time. He's only been around for about 10 years. He initially debuted in 2007. He has had some interesting storylines. He's been involved with Cloak and Dagger. I don't know if you guys are interested in Cloak and Dagger. You should check it out. He's also been involved with Spider-Man. Mr. Negative is the reason that Anti-Venom was born into existence. Anti-Venom was born when Mr. Negative met Eddie Brock and when they touched. Something about Mr. Negative's powers turned whatever was left over of the symbiote in Eddie's bloodstream into something else it made it something more and anti-venom was just a crazy threat until anti-venom was lost in the spider island series but mr negative has been a crime lord he's fought crime lords he's had his own gangs he's worked for a gang before he was mr negative he's tried to screw over spider-man he's tried to take down parker industries recently the most recent is when he tried to take over parker industries with cloak and dagger he's killed people that people love he was part of the whole rise and fall of the goblin nation events mr negative has been a badass but you might be wondering nerdgasm okay so now we know who mr negative is we know what he's done we know he's fought the spider what the fuck are his powers and why does he go from you know normal skin person to like a pale ghost face skin person i'm gonna tell you all right calm down can i make a video damn Listen. because mr negative was exposed to a drug called delight by the way delight delight you get it you see what i'm saying ha Mr. Negative was able to generate and control the Dark Force and the Light Force. And again, guys, Cloak and Dagger. Cloak, Dark Force, Dagger, Light Force. He's able to control both of them. And he's able to combine it to make like this photographic negative of black and white electrical energy. He's been able to use his powers for shape-shifting. He's been able to imbue objects with his power, as you can see from the sword that he has in the gameplay video. And that whole thing with Venom. He was actually able to use his powers to heal Eddie Brock. Like I said, his powers affected the symbiote inside of Eddie Brock. But originally, Eddie Brock was there because he needed to get healed. He had cancer. Boom, we get Anti-Venom, one of my favorite Spider-Man villains. I can't even say favorite Spider-Man villain because almost every Spider-Man villain is my favorite. I just Because it's, it's Spider-Man. But probably my favorite power that Mr. Negative has is something called a corrupting touch. Mr. Negative is actually able to brainwash certain types of people with just a touch of his powers. And again, bringing me back to Cloak and Dagger, he was able to brainwash Cloak and Dagger into working for him. 
he actually switched their powers so that Cloak had the power of the Light Force and Dagger had the power of the Dark Force. They had to fight Spider-Man, Spider-Man's Parker Industry people found a cure, they cured Cloak and Dagger, whatever. It's cool, it was awesome, but Mr. Negative is the main point here. Now, I don't know what Mr. Negative is going to be trying to do in this game, but seeing as how his history is that he is a gang lord, I am going to assume that he's trying to take over New York City, or at least take over the parts that the Kingpin was in control of, because the Kingpin is inside of this game. We see him talking to Spider-Man on the cell phone. It could just be Mr. Negative trying to take over what the Kingpin had. Look, and the reason that I'm saying he's trying to take over New York City from the Kingpin is because one of his first encounters with Spider-Man was when he was trying to take over New York City. He was trying to rule the entire criminal underworld. And if you guys are wondering, this is not just me speculating. Like, I'm not, I'm not just like, well, he did this one thing that's kind of like that. No, there were a few issues dedicated to this fight in the Amazing Spider-Man 546 to Amazing Spider-Man 548. So this isn't like some created storyline. If you guys wanted to, check out the issues. The issues might have some parts of the game that we're going to see later on. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys because, you know, just you should be surprised when you play the game. But at the end of the day, we have to remember, guys, this is a Spider-Man game that looks like it's going to be good as what? Oh, my God. Did you just just real quick? Look at this. Look with the spider sense. And then he gets hit by the shit. And then he goes in the sky and then he's flipping through the building. Do you, people work there? Somebody is dead. You know, somebody's dead, right? People work there. And that shit just cra- somebody is dead. The male dude or the, the secretary. Somebody died. Um, but I guess we don't talk about that. But then he does his other shit. What, did you see the spider tech? With the, we have a Spider-Man that's finally using spider tech? What? And please don't be like, oh, it's like Spider-Man Homecoming. It's just like, no, shut up. That's a movie that's completely different. Don't, don't ruin this for me, okay? This is a Spider-Man that finally uses the tech. He uses his brain as well as his spider powers. Don't ruin this for me, all right? Let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know what you guys think about this gameplay. Are you guys going to get the game? If you're not going to get the game, then, th- then get the game. Why would you not? It's Spider-Man. Come on, get the game, dude. I will see you guys later on for a Kingdom Hearts video, probably. And then we're also going to be talking about the origin of Godspeed, because Godspeed is crazy. He's awesome. People are sad he's not going to be in The Flash Season 4, and I think he might show up in The Flash Season 5. But what the fuck do I know? You know, I'm just a dude who has a normal job who does this in his free time, so I don't know shit. I will see you guys later. I will talk to you later. You're awesome. Thank you for the support. I love you. Share the channel. Tell your friends. Tell everyone so we can become a Nerdgasm Nation. Goodbye.